All right, welcome back for another video. So I'm going to be doing a tutorial here on how to glue together the resin model. I kind of went over it in the cleaning of the model, but I figured I may as well just uh, do a quick video on the actual application of the glue. So again, we've got our pieces that we're gonna be assembling here. Uh, I've cleaned everything. I again have left <clears throat> this one piece here to hold on to while I'm painting, uh, which I will clip off at the end. Uh, but the arms are going to go onto the model right now. So I've got my Gorilla Super Glue. I'm going to take this arm first. Again, going to put a little bit of glue just in the middle on the ball joint right there, like so, not too much. And then I'm going to do a little bit around the outside just in a quick circle, like so. And grab the main piece and pop that on. So once you've got it in position, again, I'm pressing in like pretty firmly. Uh, you'll want to be careful as you're doing this because I, I, like I've done it before where you'll glue these things together and then after a few minutes, I'll remove my hand uh, and then the piece somehow has been glued to my hand <laughs> and not the model. Uh, again, if this happens, just uh, clean off the piece, clean off your hand uh, and then try to reapply it again. So I always recommend you hold it on for a few minutes uh, just to make sure that the piece is secure. Uh, a big thing with these resin models is that a lot of the time uh, when there's any weight to it or connection points that you feel could easily break, you'll want to uh, pin them together. I'm going to be doing another video on pinning resin models together, uh, but this model is totally unnecessary. The arm is super light. It's at a low angle. Uh, this thing, the chances of breaking off are very slim. So it's easier just to again, assemble it. So I've been pressing pretty hard there. So <clears throat> I've taken my hand away and it is on there. Uh, when you're first doing this again, you'll want to uh, hold on to it for longer than that probably, but I've been doing this for a while and I know when things are secure, so I should be good to go. So I'm going to grab the other arm here. Uh, again, I've cleaned this off as well. Uh, just dry fit the, the piece first, make sure everything's fitting properly. It's all attached. It's looking good. Yep. That fits on perfectly. So we're going to do the same thing. We are going to grab this piece, put some glue on the ball joint right in the middle, uh, and then put glue just around the outside of the arm right there. And then we'll be attaching it. I'm going to add a little bit of extra glue there just in case. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so take the main body again, insert the piece, and press down. Sometimes when you're assembling the model, uh, it won't be obvious where it goes. In this case, the arm slots in perfectly where there's a joint with the uh, like cloth uh, like sleeve that connects perfectly with the shoulder. Sometimes that's not the case and you're actually kind of given some options on how to add the arm. Maybe the pose will be like this with it up in the air or you can put the uh, arms going down and it's up to you. If you're not sure, always just reference the original picture of the model uh, from the website or from the store. Or maybe it's on the box, uh, but always take a look if you're not sure. So again, we're just pressing firmly, holding this together. You can see the other arm is on and is staying on, which is great. Okay, I'm going to let that go. So <clears throat> that's it. Uh, again, when you're first starting out, uh, you'll probably want to hold on to the model for a little bit longer than this. Uh, I recommend a couple minutes just to make sure everything's positioned correctly and is staying. But uh, yeah, this is the video on how to glue together resin models. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please hit that sub button. Uh, and let me know in the comments uh, what you think. Was this helpful? Uh, do you want to see some more tutorials like this coming in the future? Uh, I will see everybody soon.